The first topic shows how engine failure affects the FMC. The speed limit page appears if an engine failure is detected during takeoff. The climb segment is airspeed limited until flap retraction. The thrust limit remains in takeoff. Next, the VREF plus 80 climb page appears. This occurs when either the flap handle is moved for flap retraction or the airplane climbs through engine out acceleration height. VNAV pitch commands the airplane to accelerate to VREF plus 80 knots. The thrust limit remains in takeoff. Display the thrust limit page. When the airspeed increases to VREF plus 80 knots, the thrust limit changes to continuous. Display the VREF plus 80 climb page. Select the engine out climb page. Make the engine out climb page active. The engine out climb page is active. All climb and cruise performance data have been recalculated based on engine out operation. The maximum altitude has replaced the flight plan altitude. This is because the cruise altitude entered during preflight is above the maximum altitude that can be attained with an engine out. The engine out climb speed is displayed. Manual entry of engine out speed may cause the maximum altitude value to change. The active altitude and airspeed restrictions, air data and transition altitude and climb direct prompt are the same as on the normal climb page. The maximum altitude is the maximum attainable engine out altitude. If the failed engine is restored, the All Engines prompt restores the normal climb page. The engine has been restarted. Restore the normal climb page. An engine has failed. Select the Engine Out Cruise page. The CDU displays the Engine Out Maximum Cruise Altitude. Enter the clearance altitude into the MCP. Make the engine out modifications active. The page title displays drift down to indicate that you are above the maximum altitude for engine out operation. The airplane begins drift down. Thrust is set to maximum continuous and pitch slowly reduces airspeed to engine out speed as the airplane descends. The new airspeed is minimum drag engine out speed. Either long range cruise or company speed may be selected for the drift down. Long range cruise speed provides better fuel performance while company speed provides an earlier ETA. Use altitude intervention to make the FMC cruise altitude match the MCP altitude. The airplane levels at engine out cruise altitude. The target EPR for engine out cruise is displayed. The optimum altitude is based on gross weight and is the most economical engine out altitude. The maximum altitude line and all engine prompt are the same as on the engine out climb page. Of the three CDUs installed, the center CDU is the backup for the other two CDUs. So, if the captain's CDU fails, the center CDU immediately assumes its functions. The FMCs are highly reliable and rarely fail. 
When the primary FMC fails, the other FMC automatically takes over. There is no loss of capability. The only indications are the ICAS advisory message and the scratch pad message displaying the functioning FMC. LNAV and VNAV modes continue operating as if nothing happened. However, there is a significant loss of capability following dual FMC failure. The Autopilot Master Caution appears. Reset the Master Caution system. The Autopilot Caution message appeared because LNAV and VNAV are engaged and inputs to the autopilot from the FMC are not valid. The FMC advisory also appears. The CDU changes to the menu page and the FMC prompt is gone. Usually LNAV can be re-engaged immediately after dual FMC failure using the alternate navigation feature of the CDU. Display the alternate navigation legs page to check the flight plan. The CDU retains most of the flight plan at the time of FMC failure. To re-engage LNAV, you must select another roll mode and then select LNAV. Engage LNAV. VNAV is inoperative in alternate navigation. You must therefore engage another pitch mode. In this example, we're in a climb, so engage flight level change. The autopilot caution clears, but the FMC advisory remains. The airplane is now engaged in the alternate navigation mode. LNAV is limited and VNAV is completely inoperative. Any one of the three CDUs is capable of performing alternate navigation. The primary CDU is selected by the autopilot. If the primary CDU fails, either of the other two can immediately take over LNAV. There are only three alternate navigation CDU pages. The alternate navigation legs page, the alternate navigation progress page, and the alternate navigation radio page are all functional. The alternate navigation radio page is covered in another lesson. Select the alternate navigation legs page. Touch the highlighted key. As you saw earlier, the CDU retains most of the waypoints after dual FMC failure. Waypoints such as DME arcs and conditional waypoints are lost. The CDU inserts discontinuities where the waypoints used to be. The discontinuities can be linked just like on the legs page. Select the alternate navigation legs page on the left CDU. Enter the coordinates, link the discontinuity, and observe the left CDU. The left CDU flight plan changes after you execute. The left CDU is updated with the modifications after you execute the right CDU. Waypoint names are retained from the FMC at the time of dual failure. 
but the CDUs have no navigation database, so any new waypoints are named according to the latitude longitude. Existing waypoints, such as Alder, can be moved as desired and their names are retained. All other normal waypoint creation methods and intercept course features are inoperative. However, you can proceed direct to any waypoint just like you did with an operating FMC. Courses for all other waypoints are referenced to True North. Distance between waypoints is displayed. The latitude and longitude coordinates for each waypoint are displayed. Next, let's talk about the Alternate Navigation Progress page. Display the Alternate Navigation Progress page. Touch the highlighted key. The Alternate Navigation Progress page is similar to the normal Progress page. The last waypoint and altitude crossed, the waypoint you are flying to, and the next waypoint are all displayed. The destination is also displayed. The distance to go and the time to go is displayed for the waypoints and the destination. Current inertial position and ground speed are displayed. The current cross-track error left or right of course is displayed. The desired track to Laker is displayed. And the actual track is displayed. Both are in magnetic according to the selected reference. During climb, you have dual FMC failure. Take appropriate action to re-engage LNAV and an appropriate pitch mode. Check the waypoints on the alternate navigation legs page. Both FMCs have failed. Enter the clearance into the alternate navigation system. Enter the clearance. An engine shutdown has been accomplished. Take appropriate action with the FMC. After level off, an engine restart is successful. Take appropriate action with the FMC.